So now let's do a real problem. So the one thing that I find a little interesting is computing is an interesting thing. When you start teaching computing, sometimes you teach two simple problems. And say, so, yeah, you could do the simple problem. And as soon as you ramp it up a little bit, it's like, oh, I don't know how to handle the difficulty level that comes with ramping it up even a little bit. So what I'm trying to give you is an example now where you, know, you have to ramp up the difficulty level a bit. And just sort of this straightforward, naive approach here is not going to quite work for you as well. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go back, actually, to uh, what we had in class uh, a few lectures ago, which was something like this. Remember that? And we'll do the following boundary conditions. I'm going to add two levels of difficulty here. Okay. The first level of difficulty is, since I already know how to solve this with shooting, is I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it nonlinear. I know. It's like a half gainer right there. All right. That's one thing I'm going to do. Uh, equal to zero. And so that makes the equation more complicated. But here's what also makes it more complicated. What's beta? Remember last time, part of what we were trying to solve for what beta was. And in this boundary value problem now, I'm saying, try to solve this boundary value problem where I actually don't know some of the information. Right? So you better learn how to solve this, because we were doing it with shooting method. We better figure out how to do it with this. So what we're going to do is beta will be a parameter in here that also has to be solved for in addition to everything else. Okay. So first, let's turn it into system of first order equations, write down our boundaries, and then figure out how to implement this in MATLAB. Okay. So first order system. Again, you say y. Right, you say y is equal to y1, and then y prime is equal to y2. And you get y1 prime is equal to y2 from this first set of equations by taking the derivative. From the second equations, you get y double prime, right, which is y2 prime is equal to y double prime. Take this step to the other side, you get beta minus 100 times y, which is y1 minus y1 cubed. So there's our problem in first order form. And don't underestimate how complicated this can make your life. Remember, all the techniques we had so far. So by the way, the shooting method doesn't care if you did this. But when you actually go to the discretization method, the discretization method it cares a lot. Okay? The discretization method, remember we did it last time in class. You can it only works if you get ax equal to b out of the thing. Right? And if you don't, if you have a nonlinearity, then you have a huge nonlinear system of equations to solve. And by the way, that's exactly why BVP4C exists. It says, fine, we'll do that for you. And there's a root algorithm for doing that. But let's solve that. That's the difficulty. I don't know what beta is. What about the boundaries? Boundaries are pretty easy. What we're going to have is the left boundary is just y1 at negative 1, or actually at plus or minus 1 is equal to 0. Here are your boundaries. Let's make it 0. Make it simple for now. OK? So far, so good? All right. Let's implement and solve this thing. And in some sense, this is uh, what, I like, what I like about this problem, by the way, and the way I like to want to, wanted to put it here in class is this is actually a fairly difficult problem to solve computationally, as you will see, because I'm going to make you solve it, the nonlinear problem using the shooting method, because it's actually pretty unstable. Uh, but this thing just cleans its clock. Just forearm shivers flying. Okay, you guys all know what forearm shivers are, right? No, nobody knows. Who knows? Dude, some of you know what a forearm shiver is, right? Tell me. Okay. 
Leah, do you know what a farm shiver is? Okay, it's in big time wrestling. When you throw the guy against the rope and he bounces back and you come into him, forearm, boom, drop him. Yeah, I know, this is what we're doing. I don't know if you picked that up. You guys at home, don't do it at home. But listen, this is, this is my, this is math version of Smackdown. I know it's 8.30 in the morning, this is when we do it. But it's you against the problem and it's just a matter of who's winning, right? That's, that's it. That's the way I think about it.